Welcome back to Google Food, guys. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by National Pork Board. And today, I wanna know my preferred doneness for pork. Do I like it medium rare, medium, or well done? There's only one way to find out, and I'm gonna do this experiment. And the awesome thing is, I'm bringing my best friends with me for the first time on this channel. Mamao and Ninja are gonna be on it. Enough talking, and let's get right onto it. Check it out. Now this experiment is all about cooking pork at the correct temperature and to find out our preferred doneness. I've always slightly overcooked pork but today I want to cook at the right temperature. But at the same time I'm going to be doing two others as well. The first one will be cooked medium rare which is 145 degrees Fahrenheit followed by a 3 minute rest. The second one will be medium which is 157 degrees Fahrenheit followed by a 3 minute rest. And the third one will be well done which is 170 degrees Fahrenheit followed by a 3 minute rest as well. And the whole point here today is to find out which one we like best. So let's do it. For today's cook, I'm going to be using this beautiful pork tenderloin which I got in BJ's Wholesale and the price was awesome. Only 15 bucks for four of them. Now you can't go wrong with that price. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to cook this pork tenderloin. After removing them from the bag, this is what they look like and if you notice, there is a white silver skin which must be removed because it's kinda chewy. Pork can take a variety of flavors profile depending on the seasoning and marinades that you use, as well as different cuts. But today I want to keep it really simple so that I can really taste the flavor of the pork when cooked correctly. And I'm only seasoning with salt and pepper. Check it out. Pork whole muscles cuts like loin roast, pork chops and tenderloin should be cooked at an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit followed by a 3 minute rest. Pork is an excellent source of nutrients and pretty much goes with anything. But to really keep this test consistent, I am not cooking any sauces or side dishes. That way it will ensure me that I really taste the pork and nothing else. For more awesome pork grilling tips, recipe and inspiration, head over to pork.org slash grilling and learn a lot more. But now that we have these beautiful pork tenderloins ready, it's time to cook them up. So let's do it. The first thing I like to do is sear them. Check it out. Then I move them to indirect heat to ensure I get the temperature I'm looking for. Guys, I got my good friend Ninja over here and I got Mamalzinho do Brasil on the back on the camera today. Sure. I know you guys never see them on this channel, but they are my best friend and they are on my main channel, Suvi and everything. That's gonna change, man. That's right. Ninja wants to be here too, right, Ninja? So Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> anyway, enough talking. Ninja, I have an experiment today and I want to know your honest opinion. We have A, B and C and I want to know which one is better. Sound good? I'll tell you this. Smell delicious. <laughs> I agree. Enough talking. Let's cut it open. Let's do it. How does it look, my friend? 
Sporkman, I'm a Cuban, so that's a good mix. Can we? Is it fair to say that you are a pork lover because you're I'm, Cuban? I'm a pork expert. <laughs> All right, enough talking, Ninja. Let's go for it. Let's go for the first one. Let's try it. Let me know. Mmm, smells so good. Bro. First one seems like there's a smoke ring, right? There's a little smoke ring action there, yeah. man. You see a little smoke ring action that's on this nice. one? Nice. All right, let's see, Ninja. Go that's for a, it. That's a nice detail, bro. Please. Thank you. You first. Oh, this is so juicy. Mmm, <laughs> man, so juicy, so tender. Beautiful. You like it? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Very good. All right, Ninja, go, for, go for the second one. We want to know your opinion on the second one. Tell me. I, I'll tell you this. That one, the first one is tough to beat, bro. Really? Yeah. All right, tell me about if there's any difference on this one. I'm curious to find out your opinion. Number A is winning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number A is losing. Oh. More flavor, more tender, more juiciness. <laughs> this is crazy. Now I'm excited. Okay, all right. Now let's go for the last oh, one. Oh, wow. Is that one good? It's a huge difference, man. All right, let's go for the last one. I'm curious. Tell me. Oh, that one is dripping juice. <laughs> it's dripping over. Woo! Oh. Give me a moment. <laughs> Mm. Wow, bro. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god! Ninja has never shaked my hand. <laughs> so, Ninja, your honest opinion A, B, or C? C! <laughs> All right, enough. Let me try it. Let's see. This one has a smoke ring and got me curious about it. It's awesome, but it's not delicious. It's fantastic. The flavor was it. It's a little dry. You're gonna go. Compared to the other ones, yes. <laughs> but you're gonna go through the treat right now. This one is good, but for my taste, it's a little dry. But it's good. Very flavorful, seasoned all the way through. Yeah. Perfect for me. Okay, let's go for the next one. In comparison, guys, there's a difference between the... Check this out. It's a little bit more pink than this one right here. Yeah. All right, so second one. How do you do it? <laughs> Number C is coming. <laughs> wow, this one is great. This one is amazing. Now, try it. Really? Really? I mean, you can already tell how juicy it is. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look at that. You could tell already. I know you might be worried. Pink is okay. It's okay. And if you want to know more about it, check it out in the description down below. Pink right. is good, man. Pink is good. All right, anyway. Ooh. Of course, the more you go that way, the better it gets. And when you get to the end, guys, that's that's a bomb. I'm 100% with you, Ninja. The last one is much more superior. Mama, I want to know your opinion. Let's go. Tell me, Mom. Go for the first one. All right, let's go. Steak number A. Wow. It looks dry. It looks dry, mm. but it has a smoke ring. Mm. Oh, wow. It looks dry, but it's very flavorful. No fighting here. We have plenty. Mm. He's complaining about it. <laughs> no. I'm back with that little piece of meat over there. <laughs> You're gonna rescue it? You have feelings. What do you think, Mama? Oh, this is amazing. I know. I like it too. It looks dry, but it's not. It's not like overly dry that you cannot eat it. It's a little bit dry. Go for that second one, Mama. Right. I don't understand why you guys say it's, it's dry, Ooh. because that's a better than I learned than any other thing. That we have eight. Oh, but tell me about the last one. It's awesome. <laughs> that thing is out of the way. Tell me that one, Mama. Mm. Definitely, number B beats number A by by far. It's like other side of the planet. You try the last number one. And tell me your definitely opinion. Definitely more pink than the other ones. Oh my God! Ooh. Is there a difference, Mama? We want to know. This is delicious. The last one is my favorite. Say one. it. Oh my god. 
So Ninja, let me tell you the difference today of our cook, my friend. Here's what we got, Ninja. We got the first one, which was cooked at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Okay, we got the second one, which was cooked to 157 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm. And we got the last one, which was cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. In your opinion, my friend, which one do you like better? It's, it's tough to say, but I like the less hot one. <laughs> you don't like it too hot? I like the least hot one. <laughs> Not too much of hotness, agree? <laughs> Not too much hotness on that thing, bro. Now, for our opinion and our personal preferences, we definitely recommend 100% the medium rare. Now, agree, Ninja? Definitely, but I have something to say. I always hear that you have to kind of overcook pork. That is used to be true and you are correct a lot of people are afraid to cook pork pink i'm going to tell you right now the usda recognizes it that you are able to cook pork at 145 degrees fahrenheit and if you are interested in learning more about it look on the description down below from our sponsors national pork board has more information about it in the description down below and i'll link it for you guys so that you can learn more you should get it to 145 or you can keep it between 35 and 45. no you gotta get it to 145 degrees fahrenheit and take it out Love and it. then rest it for three minutes just take it out it hit the 145 take it out that thing hit 145 you'll be going like a jet boom take it out give it three minutes chop it up and enjoy it. I'm gonna make my mother-in-law happy this week. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is our recommendation. We all agree it's much, much better. It's more tender, it's juicier, and it's delicious. And more flavorful, Mama was gonna say, but Ninja only says delicious. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Listen, and you know, think a little bit out of the box. Give it a try and you'll see the difference. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Subscribe, And man. if you're interested in anything I use, everything is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you.